Okay, so I brought my model in, as you can see, and uh, what I want to do in this scene is I want to uh, upgrade the material. So uh, this is right out of SketchUp, and as I mentioned in the last video, there's a lot of rudimentary looking things that don't look that great. And uh, the goal of Twin Motion is to create a professional arch viz so that, uh, well, technically your customers would be very satisfied with the look and would probably purchase, uh, you know, your design and your product. Okay, so uh, I want to start by changing the pool. So as you can see, this is static material and using the eyedropper tool that's down here, uh, when I click on this, it will open uh, the library panel in the material section. So what I'm looking for is obviously water. And you're going to see right away the power of twin motion. Look at how like cartoonish and amateurish that looks. And I'm going to just click and drag that one in here too dark i'm going to go with less dark uh well and you see it, it also is animated which makes it look a, a lot better i'm going to go with that one so basically that's what we're going to be doing now i'm going to use the eyedropper tool and click this and i want some nice grass so uh, we're going to look through here until we find uh, grass uh, where is it for the category ground and I'm going to go to nature and we're going to try you, you can even see an example of what it looks like so I'm going to go with this one and I'm just going to drag it in see it already looks a lot better now you could always try different iterations I'm going to go with that one it's even nicer okay and one thing I want to remind you of that I talked about a while ago is uh, when you select something you're going to see okay everything that I selected that has that color just Pick that. So you got to be careful. Uh, now in this material, when I pick it, I know it's only going to change the rocks. If I select this, it only is going to change the surrounding of the pool. So that material I can change. Okay. In fact, why don't I do the surrounding of the pool right now? Um, and I could probably just go with color. And let's go with a nice blue maybe. Click OK. I'm just going to drag it in there. Oh, control Z, control Z. So I want to select this first, and then check the color. This, it seems to uh, go to the last uh, thing selected. So let's just see what's going on here. Um, click OK, escape, control Z, Z. Okay, well, it seems to be bugging out here. Let's see if I select this. Uh, material. I'm still on grass for some reason. Okay, I see the mistake that I made is you have to select the thing you want to change first. So I'm changing this white and if I click down here I will see some examples of material that I could use. I'm going to use this blue and you know and that's kind of the thing that you want to see is try different iterations. Um, that looks pretty good. For now, I can change it after. Uh, now I want to change this, uh, this wood, and I'm going to go in the wood section, and that looks really nice. I'm just going with it. Um, let's see the, the the top of the building. Maybe I could make that wood. I know it's not realistic if you were really designing it, hey, but who knows? So I'm going to press F so I can get up close to it and see what it looks like. Is it a pretty nice look? Now I want to select this black surface and let's see if I also made that out of wood what would it look like uh, doesn't really do much did it actually work is it the inside of the room that I got okay so it kind of has a nice uh, I'm gonna try that again using my select tool definitely don't want water but let's try and drag this one on top so now you got a nice wooden texture let's try this wooden texture so you see I'm really changed my building quite a bit and that actually really refreshes it um, again using the eyedropper tool what are the things I can select I select that I select this item just press the uh, E key to go down use the uh, not letting me select that for some reason. Um, let's do the rocks. 
And let's see if I can find some type of rock concrete structure. Uh, let's see in here. There's stones. There you go. So which one would I like? Well, some of these are, are actually stone walls. I want the color of a rock. Let's just see what uh, this would look like if I brought it on the stone. Actually, it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to leave it. I guess the goal is just to see what you can do, and that's really the purpose of this video. Um, you won't be able to change all this white stuff. Now, we can try and see what happens if I apply something to it, but it'll probably, it changes all of them, okay? Let's try the blue one. We could change it. I mean, it's, it's kind of a shame. You can't, you know, if you wanted to separate this, you would have to go back to the SketchUp project, add a different material to this table, then a different material to these chairs, and then whenever it brings them in, and if you import it by material like we did, you could then change the color of the chairs and then the color of the table. That's really how you do it. So I'm pretty happy with this. I mean, it's a massive upgrade compared to what we had. You have the animated water, and it just looks really good. So that'll be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to upgrade our scene with some of the other assets that we can find in the library. All right. Thank you very much.